Hello, Gemini. Rambling Mike here. Come play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I, I appreciate your time. I know how valuable it is. I appreciate uh, you hitting that like button while you're thinking about it. Hit that subscription button if you haven't yet. Thanks for that. And a moment of gratitude and a big shout out. And thank you to all my Geminis that have blessed me with donations. Many of you, very kind of you. Uh, I appreciate them all, large or small. Gemini, if you've blessed me with a donation, thank you. And a big shout out and thank you to all my Ramblin' Nation members. I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support month after month. Thank you very much. Um, I started something new with my members. Uh, uh, Wednesday nights, live readings with my members, you know, a smaller, more intimate group. It's nice. Uh, Wednesdays. So the next one's going to be uh, May 20th. 5 p.m. Of course, I'll still be doing Sunday Funday. That'll be the 24th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. But uh, doing something with my members only. Wednesday nights. Wednesday Friends Day. Going to be giving away T-shirts. Here's a ooey gooey soft and chewy. Going to be giving away a uh, winner winner chicken dinner. These are the ladies' cuts. Wednesday night, I'm going to be giving away a tarot deck to one of my members. Love this tarot deck right here. It's the Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot. I love it, man. This is just a beautiful box. I sign these because I, I modify these decks. I cut all the borders off of them, bring them down so they fit in the hand and all of that. This uh, tarot deck does come with a nice book. Um, a a large book it's full of all kinds of color pictures, uh, thumb, thumb index in it. It's very nicely put together. Nice descriptions of all the cards. And I just wanted to show you a couple of the cards. There's the lover's card. Mm -hmm. Love the two snakes right there and the two roses, huh? It's nice. What do we got here? The Knight of Swords. Gotta love that. Looks like he's just, just charged right off of the card. What do we got here? The Knight of Wands. And what do we got here? Oh, a Page of Cups. As you can see, it's just gorgeous. Old classic tattoo style of artwork on it. Going to be giving that uh, away on Wednesday night, as well as uh, one free reading with old Ramblin' Mike, hour long. Hope you can make it. If you would uh, like to be there Wednesday night, hit that join button. If you can't find the join button, down below every one of my videos in the description area is a link that will take you to that join page. So anyway, Wednesday night, 5 p.m., Looking forward to you being there. I want to give a couple shout outs to some of my Ramblin' Nation members that have a YouTube channel. First one I want to shout out is Strawberry Moon Insight. I love you, Barb. Your channel gets better every time I look at it. And that is Strawberry Moon Insight, I-N-S-I-T-E. Another tarot reader that has a channel that's a member is Moon Dream Healing. Check her out. She's good. And a very fun uh, member of Ramblin' Nation, uh, Serendipitous Rendezvous. A nice young lady, very spiritual, and always has an amazing message. Um, so again, that's Strawberry Moon Insight. It's Moon Dream Healing and Serendipitous Rendezvous. Check them out. I bet you're going to find somebody that you like right there. Give them a like. Give them a subscribe. All that good stuff. All right, Gemini. Let's play some cards, huh? Thanks for giving me a minute right there. Let's play some cards. This will be a love reading for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. A little look-see at love right here. And I always... Ask Source to put these out from my first person perspective or who's ever looking at these videos. 
but you know they can play out vice versa in all kinds of ways so that's uh, fire up our intuition, our psychic abilities, all those giftings that we all have as we play with this fun, esoteric world of tarot today. Let's go with this right here, Gemini. I'm going to tune in. Hey, tarot, we love team. Gemini is here to play with us. Let's tell them what they need to know most for the highest good. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Gemini see and hear what they need out of this reading. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Gemini's highest good. Thank you so very much for that love team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Gemini. Cutting the deck. Gonna give you a nice full spread today. Classic Celtic cross with the Tarot Illuminati. Uh, full spread on top of that with the Witch's Tarot. Definitely a handful of the amazing Mystic Moon Oracle. Definitely a handful of the classic romance angels. How do we do a love reading without those, huh? And uh, two or three of the major arcana that I pulled out from the David Bowie Starman tarot deck as an overall. Here we go, Gemini. First card out. Nine of Swords. Oh, what in the world's going on here, Gemini? The old sleepless nights, you know, that can talk about anxiety. It is a nine, though, and the tarot only goes to ten, so it's definitely close to an ending of a cycle. You know, it is air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, the wringing of the hands. Could be the wouldas, the couldas, the shouldas. We'll see where this goes right here. But it is, you know, that insomnia card. That uh, not sleeping well at night. Let's see what crosses over top of it. The Hermit came out. Uh, major Arcana, Major Life Force card. This is about going down on the inside and doing that inner work. It is the Sage card. It's a very spiritual card. Taking a moment to heal the heart, heal the mind. You know, the hermit found the star down inside of the jar or down inside of himself and put the star in the jar for everyone to see. This is my hopes, you know, my dreams, the potential of my dreams to become reality. I found him down on the inside of myself, spending time with Source. You know, if you're going to have those sleepless nights, Spend time with the divine, you know. Put some nice vibrational stuff in your ears on the YouTube right there. You know, talk with grandpa, grandma, who's ever on the other side. Your angels, your higher self. Now, the hermit is about being led and guided by the divine. Hermit is about um, astrological alignments lining up for you. But uh, definitely uh, looks like uh, Gemini's gone down inside of themselves and found a star. Let's see if we can find out what this star is on huh, Gemini. Well, base of the spread is the death card, transformation, Scorpio energy, um, and, and a death cycle will lead you to both of these, Nine of Swords and the Hermit card. You know, and this is about death, birth, and resurrection for you. So, obviously, there was a death cycle that you've gone through. And they can be quite painful and quite spiritual journeys. They're all about the metamorphosis within you. You know, the caterpillar becoming the butterfly, which can be a challenging process, you know. Um, the caterpillar made the cocoon, went inside, died, turned to goo. I'm sure that wasn't a whole hell of a lot of fun for the caterpillar, but when the divine touches the cocoon, it opens up and the butterfly comes out. Ain't never going back to being a caterpillar ever again. Ain't never going back into that cocoon ever again either right here you know i see the cocoon and i see the painful i see the death cycle right here probably let something go we did have that scorpio full moon recently you know and, and full moons can talk about endings full and scorpio can talk about karmic cycles coming to an end and then we got a new moon coming in here a gemini a gemini uh, 
new moon on the 22nd. You know, the lovers, the lovers new moon coming in here on the 22nd. So let's see what kind of metamorphosis is coming here for my Gemini. Ah, it is right there. It's a major arcana, major life force card. It's temperance, which is Sagittarius. May mean something to you, may not. Our third major arcana that's come out for you out of four cards. I mean, there's only 22 majors in the in the deck of 78. You have already got three of them out of four cards. So pretty major events coming in here. This is Michael, the archangel. He has his the two cups in his hand, you know. The two cups always talk about the true love to me. You know, all the cooperative components coming together for you being at the right place at the right time. Keeping your eyes on the rainbow. There's always a rainbow with a temperance card, you know. Let's see the rainbow. It is a card of patience. You know, on this journey that you're on right here. Very spiritual journey. Uh, definitely bringing you out of something. Bringing you out of the Nine of Swords. I told you that's close to an end of a cycle right here for you. Probably ending it up right now. The Death card. That's definitely an ending of a cycle. And this is about a new beginning coming in here for you. Can talk about reconciliation as well. All these divine cards right here. Let's see where this goes. Oh, I got four pinnacles on top of the spread. Uh, this can talk about uh, somebody holding on. Somebody holding on to you. With their heart chakra. Or you, or you holding on to them with uh, your heart chakra. But feeling closed off from them. And that's Earth Energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, crowns the spread right here. Four pentacles in a love spread. You know, who are you holding on to with your heart chakra right there? Because, you know, the hermit, he found the star down inside of himself right here. And, you know, Michael right here, temperance. It can talk about you thinking about reunion with somebody. That's kind of the energy that I felt right here. And then four pentacles came out, which is holding on to somebody. And and generally a mirroring energy. Generally, they're holding on to you with the heart chakra as well. Both these people feeling closed off from each other. But uh, major metamorphosis. Here we go. I'm excited. Let's see what we got here. The moon card coming out for you. Um, another major arcana. And like I said, that can talk about uh, cycles of the moon. I'm not too freaked out by the moon card. It can talk about cycles of the moon. I did already talk about that new moon in Gemini. And also, you're going to have Venus in your first house for four months. Because, well, it's it's uh, it's gone retrograde. And then it's going to be in your world for four months. You know, the love planet and the money planet. You know, all we, I've taken a look at what Gemini loves and why they love it. You know, it's a great time and uh, definitely could come out winner, winner, chicken dinner by the end of that cycle of four months with Gemini and with uh, Virgo in your first house. But the moon card is about following somebody or something that's intriguing to you down that old smoky trail right there, you know. Why, why, you know, the old crab coming out of the water, going to go down that trail right there. It's probably been some damn towers and... But why? Because the sun appears to be shining in that land over there. That little crab's going to go down, you know. Got the, got the light and the lantern of the uh, of the hermit shining on the path right there. Definitely tired of an old path that you were on. That 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 cycle's come to an end right there. And a change, a metamorphosis has come, and and the, the uh, patience and and the balance of temperance right here with somebody. That you two are holding on to each other with your heart chakras, and it's a little smoky. It's a little, it's a little. I can't really see where this trail's going at this particular point in time. It's interesting. Here we go. Four of cups coming out. Oh, that's what it is. Four of cups coming out, and how you would see yourself. And and this is that card of looking at love, past, present, projected, future. And it's got the golden cup floating around up here, Gemini. You know, hand of the divine. 
Not really looking at that golden cup, you know, the old smoky trail right there. Because looking at something else, kind of a processing card right here for many of my Geminis. Looking at love, the past, the present, the projected future, sitting right there by the death card, you know. Very spiritual time, but nice patience, you know. Why would Michael show up? Because Michael's showing up here because there is a golden cup. I mean, Michael has two of them in his hand, and there is the golden cup floating. And it probably is this, you know, mysterious uh, smoky trail person, you know, the one that's intriguing to you. The one that uh, both of you guys have been holding on to each other with the heart shock right here for a while. But, you know, there's some processing that needs to be done here. There's a cycle that needs to be ended. And, you know, I'm just not sure if I want to get up and tie that old yellow ribbon around that old oak tree right now. Here we go. What we got? Yeah, Hangman. Hangman came out. Yet another major arcana. What is this? Number five. Five. Major Arcana, Hangman, you know. It's about being stuck like Chuck. It's about processing. It's about getting a new perspective about love. And somebody in particular, from what I can feel, you know, with this golden cup and Michael on the spread right here and the old, the old mysticism of the moon. And doing that inner work. Because Hangman's all about getting a new perspective. Seeing a situation in a new light. And here comes Six of Swords. Here comes Six of Swords. Here comes some movement. Here comes some movement. Air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Six of Swords, always about coming out of choppy waters, heading over to old Paradise Island over there. You know, she's kind of sad. Been sitting under that tree for a minute. Probably let something go right here with the death cycle and the processing. And then going in and doing the inner work and being led and guided by the divine to, you know, the star. That's what's in the jar right there over on Paradise Island. I always see this as source, you know, coming in to get their babies, you know, learned a whole hell of a lot of life lessons. They're all up on the front of the boat right there. Definitely sad. But you know, the inner child looking up at source like, yes, please, please, Mr. Oarsman, please take us over to Paradise Island over there. We can see it looks like the sun shining on that on that island over there. Can you please take us over to that island, sir? We would certainly like to see what's on that island. We learned a lot of life lessons where we were at. But uh, maybe maybe Michael has something for us on that island over there. <sighs> Look at this. This <laughs> This is my little, uh, my, my princess of swords. It's air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You know. It's my little spy card. And, uh, she's looking right at four of pinnacles. She's looking right at somebody that she's holding on to with her heart chakra. Gemini, you got your eye on somebody? You definitely letting somebody go. Definitely letting somebody go right here. But you know, she realizes that she don't like the world that she's in. Because there ain't nothing but a bunch of seagulls flying around there. Ain't no eagles flying around. This is movement, you know, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. This is looking at something in a new light. Uh, this is processing and healing yourself. But definitely holding on to somebody with your heart chakra. This is a very interesting spread, especially with Michael flying around here with the two cups. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh, a King of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. King of Swords. Now, King of Swords energy is the great strategist, huh? Head over heart, 
decision maker as well. Uh, could be making a head over heart decision, you know, because I see sadness there as you're coming out of these choppy waters. And, the, you know, this the, the moon, you don't know how this is going to go. Definitely have your eye on somebody. Could be this king of swords right over here. And, you know, with these two right there, there could be an age difference. Male or female, I don't put gender with these. Could be an age difference right there. I see these two sitting right beside each other with four, four pinnacles. In between, I'm both of them holding on to each other with their heart chakras be feeling closed off from each other. You know, they could be about making plans and strategy to put this all together. That's definitely entrepreneur energy right there. Definitely somebody successful with life. And there we go. Bottom of the deck, here's movement. My, uh... Knight of Wands, the great adventurer. And he can talk about relocation of residency. He can talk about new career opportunities. That is a business person right there. You know, um, it's exciting. It's adventure. It's, it's the pony. The pony moving in a new direction, Gemini. Towards a king or a queen right here. I like, I like that the pony's moving towards the king. I like it, you know, and the, and the princess is looking at all of this right here. And then there's movement. And that takes bravery and courage and all of that. I like this energy that I'm feeling with this. There's passion behind this as well. It's passion. Uh, you may feel that this person's absolutely good looking, exciting, passionate, charismatic. And then this is the great adventurer going to go take a look, Gemini. Gonna go take a look at somebody. Who's this Four of Pentacles character? Who's that king right there? Gonna go take a look. See? It's gotta be my Gemini card right there. Yeah. Three of Pentacles. Oh, look, man. That's all about working on a foundation of something that's important to you with somebody else. Wow, man. I wanna go in and take a look and just see if you can go have fun, but really, man, there's three Pentacles right there, and that's about, you know, desiring to build towards the Ten of Pentacles with somebody. Could be going in just to see if this person is single, see what they got going on in their life. May not have been around them for a while with Four of Pentacles right there. Dealing with your own stuff, this death cycle, this spiritual awakening. And then, bam, here's Michael right in the midst of it. Be like, be patient. Be patient. I got something amazing coming in here for you. It's over there in Paradise Island. It's this king right here. Why don't you get on your little fire pony and go take a look at them. Or they're going to take a, a, a... But really, I'm just going to continue to read it from this perspective. You put yourself in the story where it belongs. Three of Pentacles is all about let's work on a foundation, a new beginning. Let's see if we can take this to Ten of Pentacles right here. And then i got to show you, last major arcana is the Sun card. Leo may mean something to you, may not. But it's all about abundance, prosperity, the good life an epiphany, an, an, an awakening, enlightenment. It's a sun card. That little fire pony right there, heading towards the sun. Old cycles ending right here, man. Major metamorphosis for you. This looks really good to me. I like it a lot, Gemini. This looks solid. And that's not a seagull, that's an eagle. It's a king. I like it a lot. Let's uh, play with the witch's tarot on top of this right here. A little more clarity on this right here. Hey, love team. Uh, let's play with this witch's tarot right here. Why is nine of swords and the hermit in the middle of this spread? Strength card came out. Leo, again, majors that I got are Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, Sagittarius, Scorpio. May mean something to you, may not. This is all about taming the beast within. It's strength from the universe. As you move towards a new direction, the hermit with the star in the jar, knowing where they want to go. 
Got to go down this old smoky trail to get there, though. Starts off with the moon right here, but it definitely ends up with the sun shining just like it looks like right there at the end of this journey right here. Strength card came out, you know. Strength from the universe as you go on this journey. Taming the beast on the inside. Death card right here. Why is the death card on this spread for Gemini? Thank you. Well, <laughs> there's our little knight of swords. There's our little knight of swords, our little Gemini moving in a new direction right there. You know, that takes bravery. That takes courage. Oh, I mean, this can talk about a reunion, so could be somebody that you've known from the past that you want to go say hi to again. Could be somebody new. Either way, it takes bravery right there. You know, that that's my little air pony right there. He goes and he gets the job done. He's got something to say, and he's going to go say it. And that's right here as well, too, you know. But really, Princess of Swords is thinking about saying it. But the Knight of Swords is actually speaking what you want to speak to whoever this king is right here. Yeah, and that can be male or female. Temperance. Temperance. Why is temperance on this thread right here? Temperance. Oh, three swords came out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because the hermit can be single. The death card can definitely be single. And three of swords, you know, in the recent past right there, can talk about a breakup. I felt that when I started playing these cards. Um, you know what I'm going to do when these come out, huh, Gemini? We're going to shake these out. You ready? Here we go. Get out of Gemini's heart. Out. Oh, good. I got a little of that myself. Thank you. Three swords coming out of heartache and heartbreak heading towards the sun. From what I can see, four pinnacles holding on to somebody with a heart chakra. They holding on to you with a heart chakra. Why is this about? Why is it crowning the spread? The star came out, Gemini. Crowning the spread. That's the star that's in the hermit's jar. Led and guided to their star. Star is a destiny card. Look at all these cards we got here. The star card, the sun card, the strength card, the moon card. The sun, the moon, and the stars are all in this spread. Woo, woo. You know, and that is that card of great hope, great faith, the potential of your dreams to become reality. It is that card of healing after after three swords. It's nice. Now, who's your star? You'll be heading towards your star right here. We got the moon card. Why is the moon on this spread? Because. Ace of Swords came out, you know. I'm seeing this strongly with this Gemini new moon, huh? I mean, it's your new moon. Two weeks to follow that. Could be a whole new beginning. Ace of Swords is about a new beginning. It's about communication and clarity and truth. It's about an epiphany. It's a very sharp sword. It's also able to cut things out of your life that ain't no longer serving you for your highest good, Gemini. I am loving this spread for you. This is a beautiful, beautiful love story. Letting it go, man. And moving to a new destination right here. There's a lot of movement with this, man. Right now, though, we got we got the reevaluation. Four of Cups, that old golden cup floating around. Why is Four of Cups on the spread for Gemini? Thank you. Four of Swords came out. Well, that's two fours. They're definitely about stability in the tarot that I play. Four of Swords can be about healing. You know, again, it is that card of just setting yourself apart on the source right now. 
this hermit. He's led and guided by the divine. Four of Swords is that card of just taking a break for yourself right now. Spending time with your source, grandpa, grandma, nana, papa, who's ever on the other side, your angels, your higher self, spending time with them, healing your heart, healing your mind. And then, then comes that fourth sword, that ace of swords, able to cut things out of your life, spending time with the divine, getting a, an epiphany of where you're supposed to move in life right here, right now. Hangman, getting a new perspective, coming out of Dark Knight of the Soul, coming out of Nine of Swords. What, why is Hangman here? Taming the Beast. Love this, man. The Princess of Cups. Fresh, new, crushy, crush, tender love. Communication. Apologies. Sincerity. Somebody getting hit in the head with a tsunami of love. Probably both these lovebirds right here. Yeah, this is gorgeous, man. Six of Swords coming out of choppy waters, heading over to Paradise Island. Learned a boatload of life lessons. Why is that on this spread? Because the wheel's spinning for you, Gemini. This is amazing spread. Coming out of all those karmic cycles, the wheel's spinning in an upward direction for you. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. This has Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo all connected with that Jupiter planet right there. The planet of expansion and good luck. Jupiter, the wheel of fortune. The, the boat is heading towards the wheel. This is amazing. Of destiny. The star's destiny. The wheel's destiny. The sun. Ace of swords. Illumination. Epiphanies. I, this is amazing. Princess of swords, please. Why are they here for Gemini? Well, the queen of love. The Queen of Love, and with me, the Queen of Love for me in my tarot readings is the highest love card of them all. It could mean that this person could have some water in their chart, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, but this is the highest love card of them all for me. It is the unconditional love, the agape love, that old Greek word for the God kind of love. Um... This is an empath. This is somebody with psychic abilities. This is a healer. This is somebody full-blown mature. Mature in the arena of the emotions and love, Gemini. Is that who you're looking at? Who's that, male or female? Who's that, Gemini? Nice stuff. Nice stuff, bottom of the deck. Huh. I got a King of Pentacles, a King of Swords, and Six of Cups. Sweet thoughts and nostalgia when times are good and things are sweet. Making plans and strategies to put this all together. Because the King of Pentacles, male or female, is the catch. The one that's grounded, balanced, stable. High vibration, they're loving, generous, kind, and giving. It's the one that you would marry right there. And uh, I'll just show them to you. They're off the bottom of the deck. That would be the one that you marry. And then there's that King of Swords showing up again, you know, making the strategy and the plan. And there's Six of Cups. Could be somebody that you already know. Maybe you haven't met him in this lifetime yet because it's a strong soulmate, life partner. Um, twin Flame energy right there. This is super nice. But of course, you're clearing it right now. And uh, when you're done, you know, you're going to get on that wild pony right there and you're going to go get this lover, whoever they are, man. Whoever they are, a lot of kings showing up on here. I love it for you, you know, and, 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 and that queen of love as well. Love it for you, you know, the queen of love and and the king of pinnacles. That's, that's an amazing catch. What you got for us on this for Gemini here? Mystic Moon. 
What we got? Wow. Wow, Gemini. I'll just leave it at that. Definitely says lessons. They're all right here. Nine of Swords and the Hermit. The Death Cycle. Mike will be like, Phew, I got some cups for you. Hey, over here, what do we got right here? Oh, yeah, set yourself free from that. You know, that old victim mentality. Let's get out of that because you ain't heading into that. This wheel's spinning in an upward direction for you. Those days are gone, Gemini. Those days are gone. Let's get out of that old victim mentality right there. Oh, look, I told you right here. This is somebody, uh, it's a star. Yeah, this, this goes with that. This is mirroring. Mirroring came out. See, this is something divine right here. You two are mirroring each other. Maybe they're coming out of all this too. Maybe they've learned some lessons and all that about self-worth. Star card right there. Mirroring came out. It's nice. I knew you two were mirroring each other with holding on to each other with the heart chakra. I knew that. I felt it when that card came out. You two are holding on to each other right here. Everybody letting something go is what it looks like to me, too. Probably with a mirroring. They probably letting something go, and you are, too. Yeah, balancing of the scales. Look at that. It's nice. Uh, it's a Libra energy. It's definitely the balancing of karma. And look at ascending right here, going up to a new level. Going up to a new level. They got two oars in there, so you ain't going to be rowing the boat all by yourself. You probably were rowing the boat all by yourself down here with all this mess. This is a whole different world up here on the top of this spread, man. Ascending, the balancing of scales, the mirroring, the lessons that uh, everybody has learned on this journey right here. Very powerful, man. Uh, it's very powerful. All right, here we go. A couple of love cards on here for Gemini, please. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Yeah, I see there's going to be some serious old communication right here. I saw it with the Princess of Swords, and I also saw it with the Knight of Swords. Definitely Six of Cups, you know. Definitely a soulmate coming in. And here's a communication card as well. The Princess of Cups. Hard to hard conversations coming in here for a Gemini. And stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you the romance that you desire. That's because Hangman's here right now. But Hangman's about coming out of that Hangman tree. Hangman is about seeing a, a new perspective. Seeing things. Staying optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you the romance that you desire. And let go of the control issues. You're supposed to let go of something. There's something here that Gemini's letting go of. And something here that Gemini's supposed to be staying optimistic. And having heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Right up here with the star person. Another the wheel person. Another the six of copper that's up here. And could very well be a twin flame journey. Because religious factors came out right there. It's very, very nice, Gemini. Very, very nice. Uh, it could be an age difference cultural difference, you know, racial difference, all those social taboos, you know, could have been a hindrance for, for, for this star relationship. Not the one that you're letting go, although that could have played in there as well. I don't know, but definitely could have been a little bit of hindrance up here with this star relationship, this six of cups relationship, the one that source is putting back together for you. Could have some religious factors in all of that. Hangman came out again, but I like this, Gemini, because that source coming in here, blasting you out of the hangman's tree, and it's all about seeing things with a new perspective. Again, that old religious factors card, huh? It's nice. And the world card on the bottom of the deck, Gemini, this is really nice, man. It definitely, again, uh, talks about old cycles ending. It can talk about years of shit being upside down, turning around here for you. And a new cycle coming in. What's this whole spread's been about, huh? You know, seeing yourself as that golden angelic being. Seeing the world as your oyster. And ooh la la, here comes my pearl of great prize. This is a nice story, Gemini. 
Get on your little pony and go get your lover. I hope you got something out of this, Jim and I. I thought it was an amazing read. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.